Well, good day everybody. I'm Lyndon and welcome back to Crazy for Cars. Been busy doing a little bit of work on the uh, Plymouth Belvedere, so I thought I'd do a little update and show you what I've been up to. So one of the first things I've done since uh, the last time I posted a video is we crawled underneath, pulled the fuel tank out of it, uh, a couple dents in it, it had a great big piece of canvas strapped underneath it because obviously this thing was used for chasing through the pastures, chasing cows at one time. Uh, pulled the fuel tank off, rinsed it out, there was just a little bit of old fuel left in it. Uh, and actually the inside of the tank was really good, no rust or nothing. So uh, replaced the fuel tank, put new rubber uh, fuel line on in the back, and I did manage to find a gas uh, lid for it. So the fuel tank's good. I went up front, we uh, ran a new rubber fuel line to the fuel pump and uh, everywhere and uh, it pumps gas, the fuel pump works, uh, everything's good that way. Uh, next of all, uh, another new set of spark plug wires and I did put new spark plugs in it just to make sure. Uh, replaced all the uh, heater hoses and uh, the water uh, hoses. So those are all fixed, put a new 180 thermostat in it. So now it'll actually start up, she'll idle all day, she won't uh, overheat no more. So that's fixed. Did crawl underneath it, gave it an oil change, a new filter. Uh, the old stuff wasn't too, well I guess I shouldn't say it wasn't too bad, it was black but it was still oil. So I did that. Uh, let her run for a little bit, ended up adding, uh, I believe it was 4 liters of uh, transmission fluid into it, so the transmission's full. So uh, that's been it so far with that. It's got a weird PCV valve on this thing. It kind of actually go, all goes in and it's all built into this. So I've been looking online and you can find the retro ones, but they're kind of a small fortune. So I did some searching and uh, they make a rubber grommet that replaces that. And then you just put a newer PBC, PZV, whatever the hell valve in there. So that stuff should be here uh, in a couple days. I'm gonna give that a try. Got a new voltage regulator coming. I uh, crossed the alternator and the ground and then uh, it seems to charge. So we figure it's a voltage regulator. So I do have a voltage regulator coming for it. Should be here in a couple days also. So uh, going to go to work tomorrow and then get back and then I got a month off. So in between camping and this and that, I should have lots of time to do some more work on this thing. So uh, I will keep you updated. I did manage to get the gear selector working in this thing. I had to pull it apart, clean it, some WD-40. And it's actually quite neat the way it works. To drive the car, you drive the park, uh, slide the park brake up top. It's in neutral automatically. And then you either just hit drive, second, first, or if you're stopped, go to reverse, and then or neutral, and then you can go to reverse, and it goes in reverse. And then when you want to park the car, you just slide the brake handle back down in the park, and the car goes into neutral. So that is working. I did check the uh, transmission. I did start up the car with the back end off the ground. And the transmission does go from forward, reverse, neutral, as it's supposed to. So fingers crossed, hopefully that will be okay. I guess while I'm in here, let's do a little cold start. Hasn't been started in a couple days. So let's see how she does. Like usual, these old things, you gotta pump them a few times. Hit the key. Oh, and away she goes. Fired right up. You got it like that. And she'll idle right off the bat, too. So that's kind of a nice bonus. We'll need a muffler down the road, but I will worry about that when the time comes. started to do the back brakes on the car here. Uh, this side here took me about 45 minutes to get the drum off. It was seized on there but not too bad. I do have new studs coming for this side. They should be here in a couple days. I did get all new lug nuts for all the way around in the car. This side over here was a real bitch. Pardon the uh, bad language. It took me about two three hours. This one was on there solid. Finally managed to get her off, but I did end up breaking uh, both drums in the process. So I do have two new drums here for it now. I have new brake cylinders, new brake shoes, new spring kits and hardware kits for the back. So I will be installing that later on this week. And then I will be moving on to the front 
and hopefully when I get the front off if I can I don't break the rotors and maybe I can just get them turned here in town because I don't feel like paying another $200 for two rotors so that's all I got today for you folks uh, hope you liked the little update here I will be uh, working on it here uh, I keep on saying error lots <laughs> it must be a bad habit Canadian eh so uh, the parts should be here Friday uh, I'm gonna get the back uh, brakes together uh, pull apart the front end and see uh, how that goes and hopefully within the next week or two I can get the brakes all done get them to actually work and I can actually try driving this thing once just to see how she runs so thank you for watching uh, crazy for cars I'm Lyndon if you like this video please like subscribe and have a great day bye